Hey everyone, Paul here. Welcome back to the channel. This is another Unreal Engine tutorial. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel. In this series, we're going to cover topics on how to create UMG UI from the very basics to the more complex UI. Plus, I'll be covering how to use the common UI plugin, which solves a lot of deciding UMG pain points. I have already covered a few videos in this channel that uses UMG, like the health bar HUDs and the 3D widgets. In this video, we're going to learn how to create the main menu for your game. So this is my current setup. I have a main menu map with hash a character and a camera and a simple layout. When I hit play, this is what you'll get for the main menu. So I have the simple graphics for the buttons and whatever the camera was looking at, that is my background. So we're going to learn how to do that. So hitting the play button here will take me to the level. So let me escape that play again when I hit the credits it's gonna roll up some credits here very basic hit it again it would disappear and when I quit it would just uh, exit the game so let's jump ahead on how to do this all right so starting off with a third person template um, open up the content drawer and let's create a new folder here I'm just gonna call it main and create a new folder inside um, let's call this uh, assets that's for the graphics that I'm going to share later um, next folder is maps and another folder for UI so first let's import some graphics so first let's import the assets so I have some graphics that I created on Photoshop I'm just gonna drag them in here and just like that it's imported so I have a button with a hover state and just a background image next let's jump into the maps and create a new level i'm gonna name this main menu map open that up save everything yep so now i'm on an empty level so nothing here so i'm just gonna start adding some lights so go under the window menu environmental light mixer I'm going to add skylight, atmosphere, and height fog. So there you have it. And next, I'm going to go to the landscape. And 15 by 15 quads is fine. I'm going to create that. And jump back to my uh, landscape here. Just going to select the probably point light. And I'm going to reset the location of this one. Cool. So now you have uh, a very basic level. I'm going to add the character mannequin for my pose. So mesh, add the SKM Manny. And just zoom in, in on Manny right there. And under the details here, you could also change the animation. So ABP Manny is fine. And then I'm going to add a camera. So select the scene cam camera actor, like so. I'm just going to raise this up and position it where I could see many. So right now it's looking at the legs and just raise it up. Maybe a little bit more farther. Cool. Um, and then I'm just going to move it a little here to the left so it's Manny is not centered and I'm just going to rotate Manny to look into the camera and pose. So that is looking better. Cool. So next, let's create those UI. So first, jump into the under UI, right click, select user interface, select wid widget blueprint and then select user widget. So I'm going to call this WB for, for widget blueprint and name it main menu. Open that up. And then you'll get into this um, UMG editor. So if you have two tabs, designer and the graph. So under the designer here, select under the palette, search for canvas. So this is where we'll be laying out all the UI elements. And then search for border. 
So this is for that transparent border that we saw. So I'm just going to resize this like so. And anchoring on the top right is fine. Cool. And I'm going to change the Z order here to minus one. So this is how the border is stacked. So it appears at the back. And then I'm just going to, uh, for the brush here, for under the tint, I'm just going to decrease the alpha here. So I could use the tint here, or I could also scroll down. There's also another setting for render visibility here. So they kind of both do the same thing. So I'm just going to use the tint there. Cool. Next, I'm going to add the button. So first, search for button. Next, drag it and on top of the canvas panel, not inside the border. When it's inside the border, it would be transparent. So here, drag another uh, search for text and drag it inside that button. It should be inside, so it should be nested. I'm just going to resize this a little bit. I think my value is 360. Uh, 300 300 by 86 yep so that should be fine so this would be the play button and I'm gonna change the color to black so you can select here then you could also drag and drop it there so you could select it for later now I'm just gonna quickly change this button name to play so I'm gonna duplicate control D and that will duplicate that just put it below and then this one is gonna be called uh, credits button and change that text from play to credits and select the button again duplicate and drag it below and this one is already name and this one change it to quit button change the credits to quit cool so for now if you want to add this to the level go under the menu map here and go back and select open level blueprint you don't need the event tick you only need the begin play so under here you say create a widget and select the widget that was just created wb main menu and say create uh, and search add to viewport like so compile you would see it spawned my character on that location which we don't want so need to go to the world settings and from the game mode override here select game mode the default one or you could create a new one when I hit play then that character won't be there but as you can see I could move the mouse and it's not using the camera as my background so if I go back here I could technically search for an image do it like that and on the anchor spread like that and I'm gonna change the Z order this time to minus two and under the brush here um, if I go to my assets I have this background image so I could select that and just here it would select what is selected on the content browser so if I hit play now this is what my um, main menu looks like. The background behind is still working, but it's all overlaid by this big ass image. So we don't actually need this. I was just showing you how you could do it with an image. So I'll stop that. Now I need to go to the main menu here. So I'm gonna select the cinema actor here. I'm gonna go to the main menu map and I'm gonna right click and select create reference to cinema actor one and then i'm going to right click again and get the player controller once i get the player controller i'm going to set set view target with blend 
and for the new view target I want to set the cinema camera actor I'm gonna hook it like so and I also want to show the mouse cursor so here set mouse cursor want to show the mouse cursor and get up like so and I'm just gonna create some reroute nodes here make it a little bit cleaner and from here I'm gonna drag again and I'm gonna search for input mode so for the input mode it's gonna be set input mode UI only and drag it up here and hook that up like so another readout node to make it a bit clean cool and compile save and hit play you can see now it's focusing now my background is the whatever the camera is looking at so now that's why this uh, buttons up so go back to the go back to the uh, main menu here so if you want to change the layout of the button here you could go under the style and there's uh, this normal hovered and press so if you expand this you would see it's uh, you could select an image and there's so going back here the background button that I want is here so that one and the change the draw as to image so it would remove that kind of border around it and do the same for the uh, credits so gonna select the same button remove that image and for the quit select the same button remove that image now if you notice with the button there's this tint that automatically gets applied so we don't want this tint if you expand that there's a value in there so we want it to be pure white so set it to white to one it would make it all white now we when you click on this so if i compile say if i hover in it there's we need to set another image for the hover so go back here and do the same go back here and do the same thing for the hovered so for the hovered i want the background image the other image that i have so set that do the same thing for tint rounded box as image when press I want to use the same image and round the box so do this for the other buttons as you can see this is kind of repetitive so this is one of the things that the common UI kind of fixes compile save now the hover is working when i hit play there's nothing it's not doing anything yet because it's not hooked up to anything so let's do that now so go back here i'll play i'll scroll down and hit on on click so on click we want to open up a new level open level by name and we're going to start third person map i'm also going to get the player controller and we're gonna set the input mode to game and UI and then let's go back to the designer for the credits we need to create another UI element so go to the UI here right click select user widget and select widget blueprint and I'm just gonna call this credits and just add a canvas panel and search for text just gonna put it there anchor it to the bottom right like so and change the text here and say thanks for watching compile go back to the main menu for so for here um on the credits click on the on click and here we're gonna say we're gonna do a little bit of flip-flop so search for a flip-flop so on first click we want it to do something on the next 
click we wanted to do something else so first we want to create a widget and we add the WB uh, credits and say add to viewport oh before we do that promote this to a variable and then add it to viewport cool let's rename that variable to uh, credits ref drag it down do a get and here we're gonna say remove from parent and we're gonna hook it up, up like so so finally back to the designer the last button is quit go back to unclick and select uh, quit game and that should be it I hit play you can see when I hit play turns me to my level and I could play the character let me escape test out the credits so thanks for watching and then quit or we'll just quit the game cool so there you have it how to set up the main menu hope you like this video thumbs up thumbs down please subscribe to my channel cheers bye for now